to another fresh edition of Poly Playbook. We're covering up all the hot action, cool plays, and everything in between for Cal Poly Athletics. I'm Connor McCarthy. I'm Nate Edelman. I'm Brian Chong. Poly Playbook starts now. Who do you think will win the Super Bowl this year? I think the Patriots are going to win. Hi, I'm Joe Schatz, and I'm here at Spano Stadium. I'm Megan Haley here at Staples Center. Myself, we'll be taking on Zero Island. Best pitcher in Big West softball history. Let's see how this goes. Tune in every week to Poly Playbook right here on Mustang News. Hello and welcome to another fresh edition of Poly Playbook. We're serving up all the hot action, cool plays, and everything in between for Cal Poly Athletics. I'm Megan Healy. Poly Playbook starts now. The Cal Poly baseball team finished its 2018 season by winning its final seven games. The Mustangs were number one in the Big West in team hitting, on base percentage, hits, doubles, triples, walks, and turning double plays. Junior center fielder Alex McKenna ended this season by earning the team's Ozzie Smith Most Valuable Player Award for the second year in a row. And senior Trent Shelton was given the Mike Kruko Outstanding Pitcher Award for the third year in a row. Junior Nick Meyer earned the John Orton Gold Glove Award and freshman Tate Samuelson was named Scott Kidd Rookie of the Year. Cal Poly has had 13 winning seasons since 2000 and won 19 of their 30 home games this season. The MLB draft started earlier today. Reporter Lauren Plume took a look at three Cal Poly baseball draft hopefuls. Cal Poly sports teams have wrapped up their action for the year, but for baseball players, that means the journey to the majors may be right around the corner. For this one minute update, I'm going to give you everything you need to know about the upcoming MLB draft. Junior center fielder Alex McKenna has had an impressive career at Cal Poly with a 323 batting average, 472 slugging percentage, and 213 hits. He is listed as the 97th person on the top 200 prospects and has the potential to be taken in the top three rounds. Junior catcher Nick Meyer has been the unequivocal backstop for the Mustangs these past three years. As a Mustang, he has garnered a batting average of 300, slugging percentage of 377, and a caught stealing percentage of 380. Meyer is listed as 167th in the top 200 prospects and has the potential to go in the top six rounds. And finally, senior pitcher Trent Shelton also has the potential to go in the draft after an impressive senior season, posting a career 2.98 ERA in his two years as a Mustang, as well as punching 110 strikeouts. Shelton alternates his fastball with a killer slider. The draft is happening right now and will conclude on Wednesday, June 6th. As the school year wraps up, we wanted to feature senior pole vaulter Brad Beekman before he graduates from Cal Poly. So my name is Brad Beekman. I'm a fifth year in agribusiness and uh, I do track and field, I pull bowl. <laughs> My favorite part is probably just, I don't know, having a good vault taken off the ground and feeling that energy of running and hitting the box and going up as high as you can. Definitely the most exciting part is when you get over the bar and it's kind of like, oh, like I got it, and then you fall down and like you got a split second to look up and be like, wow, you know, I got over that. So. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just miss, you know, the, the daily routine of just coming out here and uh, I love pole vault so much because uh, it was always the, like, fun, adventurous, you know, event out of track. You know, you look at the mile runners and stuff and it's like, oh my gosh, that's, uh, that's pretty painful. So we were kind of just the uh, guys coming out here having fun and that's probably what I'll miss the most. Impressive skills there, Brad. The Cal Poly sailing team made history by reaching the national championships. Reporter Sire Sawyer Malam has more on the record-setting season. Founded in 1956, the sailing club is the oldest club sport at Cal Poly. And after finishing fourth at the conference championship, the team qualified for nationals for the first time in school history. From basically where we were four years ago, which is a small like recreational group, to being one of the top teams on the West Coast and just just in the time that I've been on this on this team, it's really 
There's no, nothing else I've experienced that's like it. It's, it's definitely the most rewarding thing I've done in college is being part of the team and kind of help it get to where it is now. So just this whole experience of being on the team the last four years and watching it grow. It's the, you know, the culmination of yeah. nearly a decade's worth of work and preparation and building and, and organizing to, to where we are today, where we have the resources and the determination and the, and the skills to really compete at that level, to make it all the way to the East Coast is, it's, you know, it feels good. At the 2018 Pacific Coast Collegiate Sailing Championships, Kapala was able to qualify for nationals by beating out Hawaii by just one point. Like, I can't even describe to you what it was like when they crossed the finish line. I literally ran to the dock to help them pull up their boat with my eyes just like sobbing. I was like, I can't believe we did it. Like, this is crazy. So we crossed the line together at that last race and it was just an amazing moment. We finished, crossed the line, and uh, we didn't know exactly what the points were, so we weren't sure if we had done it or not. And then we were sailing in and we just saw our teammates kind of rush out onto the uh, pier where we were coming into, and they were all just like, like I just saw uh, them and I knew, and it was just like overwhelmingly emotional. <laughs> Not only is this the first year Cal Poly has qualified, but it is only the second time that CSU school has qualified for the national championships. It's such an honor to go and just to be able to have our names be on that national level for Cal Poly Sailing, it's really incredible. Yeah, we're going to compete, right? I don't think a lot of those uh, big East Coast schools know, have seen a team like ours before, have seen a club on our level, and we're going to really try to get out there and make a splash, uh, so to say. Um, <laughs> But it, but it's, it really kind of shows, you know, the, the the character of this team. I honestly couldn't ask, have asked for like a better ending to my college sailing career. Um, this was a goal of mine from I don't even know how long. So being able to finally fulfill that in my senior year was pretty amazing. This is still a pretty young team. You know, we're graduating some seniors, but but the people on the water, the people racing, they're like, you know. They're, they're underclassmen, so uh, the future of this team is bright. We're, we don't, I wouldn't be surprised if we're up on, up on the national races again next year. I've been sailing my whole life, and I don't plan on stopping, so I just want to take this team as far as it can go. I think we're just on an upper, upper trend, and I think there's sky's the limit. Sorry, Milam, Mustang News. At the national championships, the team came in 12th place in their semifinal race and settled for 18th place out of 30 teams. The Cal Poly's women beach volleyball team is already preparing for next season and is looking at what they could do differently. The Mustangs ended their season with a 27-7 record overall and 5-1 in conference. The team ended the season at Hawaii at the Big West Conference Tournament. The Mustangs had high hopes for nationals but fell a little short with a 4-1 loss against Long Beach State. In the nation, we got down to fourth, and next year, obviously, our goal is to win the national championship. I would say focus on our side of the court and putting down our shots and just doing everything we can to the best of our abilities rather than focusing on defending whatever they throw at us. Um, so, just freshen up every skill and be a little more clean play a cleaner game. We had two weeks off after season and we're back in eight hour weeks and we're um, doing weight training until the end of the quarter and then as soon as school starts in the fall we'll be training again. The Mustangs the Mustangs are looking at getting a national title next season. Well, that's all I have for Poly Playbook Sports Action this show. You can follow us on Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook, or you can log on to mustangnews.net for continuous Cal Poly sports coverage. I'm Megan Healy. Have a great rest of your week.